morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are starting out early again, it's 9.30 a.m. Girls are sleeping. We are headed to do something just for Sam and I. For the first time ever, I'm starting to feel like an empty nester. Now that the girls are busy with school and they're like actually have things they have to do during the day. And Sam and I are home alone. Well, and Sam and I are home free to do whatever we want. It just seems like we're at the beginning of the end, you guys. We're at the beginning of the end. Are you excited to be empty nesters? Uh, uh -oh. No, we're uh -oh. not. <laughs> we're not. We love kids. You guys. I'm empty nester and then I'll decide. <laughs> we'll be bored. You'll be bored. We'll be bored. When Sam needs to do something, like he needs to fix the car, he's like, Gabby, come on, I need to fix the car. Yeah, well, when... it's mainly for Gabby to learn, too. Oh, come on. It's because you like spending time Plus with her. I need help and Gabby can help me out. <laughs> And then I'm always like, Sophie, you want to do something with the horses? And she, or else she says to me, Mom, do you want to do something with the horses? And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. That's just going to be sad for us. I've been a mom for 36 years. I've had kids at home. Kids at home for 36 years. You think you're going to have kids at home for like 20 years, maybe 25. I've had kids at home for 36 years, you guys. And it's not done yet. Sophie's only 14. Almost 15. But anyway, Sam and I are taking advantage of these times. We're not just gonna sit there, even though they're sleeping. We're not just gonna sit there and pine away for the life that we had. We're gonna go out there and make a new life for us. Where are we going, Sam? I check out a new farmer's market that we've never been to before. We're going to a farmer's market. I used to go to farmer's market all the time when we did had like a really healthy lifestyle when we were in our 30s and, and, and then and in our 40s and we're gonna start that again. Are you ready, Sam, for a healthier lifestyle? That means hide all my chocolate bars. <laughs> you need to get rid of those chocolate bars. Anyway, let's go on an only adult adventure. It is packed, you guys. This is just tiny little, tiny little market, but there's so many people here. Sam says it's famous. Those are cute. Look how cute that is. Adorable. Soaps. That is my favorite. Artesian soaps. I love these little soap bags. Uh, so it's an engineer thing. The uh, purple paint. Engineers or like the two seconds. Flowers. No. That looks good. They even have a musician, bison and elk. Hi. I love that they're all different colors. Bags and purses. All right, so it started raining and we made our way through. It was a nice market, actually. I really liked it. I got this jug of honey. I'm super excited about it. It's raw honey. Raw honey is so good for you. And I always wanted like a bucket of it. This is not the size of bucket I want. I always wanted like a giant bucket because I know people who buy giant buckets like and it lasts for three years and they do all their baking with it I do a lot of baking I love the idea of using honey instead of sugar and raw honey and I love having like a giant bucket that you just use over and over and over I love it so the lady gave me her card and we're going to order a big huge bucket after this bucket's finished I'm gonna order a huge giant bucket they have like five kilogram buckets, 10 kilogram buckets. I'm excited to have a bucket of honey. Like that's my thing. Sam got bison. <laughs> bison pepperettes. Bison pepperettes, yep. And I got this special spicy sauce. <sighs> Dipping sauce. Yeah, it's like, it's like, um, what do you call it? It's like salsa. You know what I want? I was looking for, I yeah. love pineapple salsa. I was thinking I should make some, but I've been oh, trying to- Did you see if they had anything? Well, I looked to see if they had any pineapple salsa, but they didn't. I really <laughs> want pineapple salsa. Every time we go and get burritos, I get pineapple salsa on my burrito. It is my favorite thing ever. And the guy actually owns a bison farm close to here, so maybe so Sam can see it. Oh. Uh, so I'm like, yes, yeah, I don't want bison, but thank you. <laughs> well, little tiny fluffy cows, not bison. This bucket of honey, which is three kilograms, was 50 bucks. 
but way worth it. I'm so excited to have this honey. I already made, this morning, I already made banana bread and then I'm gonna make something else when I get home, I'll show you guys. So uh, the problem with making a banana bread is that it takes so long to make and you end up spending all your time sitting in the house and I hate that. So I'm gonna find Sam and make him sit in the house. <laughs> You found out? Yeah. Woo! It's cold. That's Don't our bench. Do doofus today. He's fresh. Storm's fresh. Yeah. I don't know about her. She just trotted up to me, and oh. Honey cantered up to me. Yeah. Honey's like, wee! It's my bed. And no. Uh, what are you up to? Just cleaning up. Cleaning up. Making some burning wood pile. Yeah. Uh, are you going inside anytime soon? Maybe. Forget it, it's okay. I have banana bread in, but I can just keep checking on it. I gotta just take apart that desk first. Okay. So, if I could, whoa, if I could change one thing about this setup, I would have this double. Actually, I don't know why we can't clean out this section here. They can't be that close to each other without a wall. Well, why can't she just move her butt over? Don't All right, because I want to bring my horse in. Oh. Every time Sophie brings her horse in, I want to bring my horse in. I hate bringing it into the barn and being by myself. Like, riding is such a, I want to ride too, but I'm not crazy, it's so cold. And it's spooky season, spooky season. The hay, <laughs> look at her hair. It's the funniest hair. <laughs> it's growing. Look at all the lead ropes we have. We should hang these up someplace. We have a whole basket of lead ropes. He's like, why do I have to leave my friends? That's all I want to know. You trotted up to me. You trotted up to her. You asked for it, lady. Well, she's like, you haven't done anything with me. I know. You guys, it's so windy. This barn is like a wind tunnel. Holy moly. So Sam cleaned up all the area where the lady ruined the place. And then he put all of the fly masks here. Yep, they go there, but they're here. You cold, Willow? She's like, no, I'm good. Come on. Let's go, you little rugrats. It's a wild day, Soph. Oh my God. <laughs> I would care if you died. So when we moved here, all this stuff was falling down. It fell down over there. It's just not tacked up very well. It's just not tacked up very well. And there's a huge section over there that literally needs to come down. Sam, if you're watching this, it needs to come down because it's making so much noise. The horses will never live through that in the winter. Imagine it being inside your stall and trying to rest and that thing just blowing like crazy. Yeah, it's been a couple, it's been a bit since Sophie rode. She really hates dogs. She hates dogs. I don't know if like dogs have been allowed to chase after her, but as soon as she's like the dogs just come even into the barn, she pins her ears. And this horse is not an ear pinning kind of horse. She's a nice, sweet girl, but she does not love the dogs. A nice, sweet girl is gonna be tortured with an ear bonnet. Ear bonnets will be good for her. You want me to look for her earplugs? No. Yeah, I doubt she's. I don't want to do that. Yeah, and I don't think she's ever had earplugs. I don't think she needs them. She's not that sweet. Yeah. I mean, uh, this horse drove through town, summer, winter, spring, and fall. Like, she's got it. But I like to look in these buckets every once in a while because I don't even know what's in them. Oh, you're the cute with the pink ears on it. Nothing that we need. I should go through it and clean it all out. Do you want me to go put the dogs in the house? Let me go. Yeah. All right. I'm just gonna go and check on the goats because I see. I'm just gonna check on the goats. Because I see the pig making tracks. <laughs> What's your problem? Everybody's stressed out. He wants a girl pig and he wants a girl goat. You see anybody in there? Just goats? All right, I see them all there. Just the pig I don't see. The goats are in there. See this? See this here? This is the... Oh my gosh. Good thing I came to check. This is the pig, I betcha. 
Do you guys see it? Oh my gosh. If he was just a little smaller, you could get through that. Ow! Get off of me! I am not a pig! This guy, you can't get down on the ground. <laughs> because if you squat down, he thinks you're a pig. <laughs> my gosh. Uh-oh, is she in heat now? All right, well, I'm going to have to get Sam to come down here. I'd show you, but if I get down on my hands and knees, this pig... Just a, it's just a breeding frenzy in here right now. No wonder everybody's screaming. Poor Winston, you need to be free of this. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna have to get Sam to come down and fix this fence. I'm guessing it's the pig that did it. This line here, you can see how he, he made a rut in the ground. He made a line in the grass because Posey goes on the other side of the fence and then they just run up and down here. But so far it's held. I'm just gonna have to get Sam to come and maybe screw this fence to this wood. Because, let me tell ya, I try and fix it and bend it back. All right, oh my gosh. Get off the goat! Come on now. All right, it doesn't wanna bend. I'm gonna have to get Sam to come down and do it and fix it. Beware the boy pasture, guys. <laughs> Beware the boy pasture. I feel bad for Winston. A couple more weeks, Winston, and then you'll be going with the girls and it'll be happier place. All right, so now he's trying to knock me on the ground. I don't know, I don't... I think that boys are all riled up because of the weather. He's trying to get out. I think Sophie picked the worst day to ride. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. The wind is that loud. Holy. Pray for her, you guys. I've been feeling stuck here lately. Think I might be going Everything crazy. is just blowing like crazy. So. I understand, but I keep making her stop and wait. She used to walk off when Sophie was trying to get on. And so Sophie would make her walk in a spin in a circle. And now she just stands like a good girl. All right, it's going good, you guys. It's going perfect. Sophie says that it feels like she never stopped riding. So uh, she stopped for a couple of weeks because she pulled the shoe, or she was about to pull the shoe, and she didn't want her to pull the shoe while she was riding and wreck her foot. And we had to wait for the farrier. And so she's doing, she's just, she's the kind of horse you can leave in the field and then get on, and she's excellent. Love this horse. Storm's acting like a fire-breathing dragon. He's, for some reason, he's super spooky today. So for anybody who's following Honey's journey, my battery died, I blame Sam. He unplugged the battery charger, so I put a new battery in, and it wasn't charged. She's like, that was fun. Yeah, it was so good, you guys. I filmed some stuff on my phone, and I'll show you guys, but, it's shocking, like, when you're going along with a new horse, this horse, Sophie and this horse have been together like less than two months probably. Has it been two months? I don't know. I need to look it up. But anyway, such a short amount of time. She's changing disciplines. They're getting to know each other. They're not anywhere near where they're gonna be. And you just get going along and you think everything's the same. Like, you can't see any changes and then all of a sudden it's just like everything's going along and you don't really notice any changes and then suddenly everything's different like that's what that ride was today everything is different yeah she still tucks her head and tries to run <laughs> but Sophie knows how to handle that now she'll just do circles which she's been doing for a, a while now but I noticed Sophie listens to everything that the trainer says and then she uh, she tries all those tricks when she's riding her alone remember her going over poles when she first started going over poles she would hit every single pole. No, she she, she literally had no idea. She had no idea about poles. And now she's like, yeah, this is nothing. I get She's watching Sophie because Sophie's in the fridge getting her carrots. <laughs> it's just about the food for her. I told you guys before, Lady didn't do any cantering before Sophie got her with, with a person on her back. And... So Sophie, and so she had like, she was a bit weak in the back and she had to build up the right muscles and Sophie's been working at that, I'm working at that. And then 
they started doing small little bits of canter and then they increased it a little bit and then she you know she worked on the canter so much with the trainer and now she's doing the canter she's so strong going into the canter but she doesn't try and take off she like is strong and then she relaxes when we're in it yeah and she's been relaxing so much dropping her head like it's so early days and she's changed so much and it's just hard to see it's hard to see if you're just looking for the bad but it like honestly it's amazing so are you still feeling like you want to buy her yeah me too because i really like her <laughs> she has three carrots because she was good she was so good. Like, you you never know. Like, look at the trees out there. It's like uh, it's tor torrential, yeah, even with that, she was great. torrential winds. And I don't even know if torrential is the right word. Tornado-like winds. Okay, I'm exaggerating, obviously. But really bad winds. And she hasn't been ridden for a couple of weeks. And Sophie just picked her up out of the field, threw her out there, no friends. And she did amazing. She did so good. I'm so proud of you, lady. You're such a good baby. You're such a good girl. Now you've been away for so long. And I'll be fighting feelings so strong. You're saying I'll repeat on my radio. I need to get out. You're all I think about. My head in the clouds. With you, I was proud. I need to